Thanks for taking time away from trying to get Taylor Swift tickets all day and night to be here. Well, we're lucky to be in Hollywood, and uh, well, maybe we're not lucky to be in Hollywood. We are lucky that we're not in Van Wert County, Ohio, right now, which is, you know about this, or oh, just from there? Well, I don't know, oh. Just reacting negatively for no reason? Okay. In uh, Verd County, Ohio, not far from Fort Wayne, Indiana, there, right now there are thousands and thousands of aggressive vermin on the loose. Thousands of mink are on the loose in Ohio after being released from their cages during a break-in. Between 25,000 and 40,000 mink were released. The letters ALF were spray-painted on a wall alongside the phrase, We'll be back, that apparently stands for Animal Liberation Front. Uh, oh, no. No, it doesn't. I know what ALF stands for. It stands for this. Pass the plum sauce. He's back, and he's moved on from eating cats. See? No, but this is a serious thing. They say about 10,000 mink are still on the loose, so if you feel something exquisite rubbing up against your leg, call local animal control. They're very active and very aggressive. They're excellent swimmers. They can climb trees, and if they're threatened, they will bite, they'll hiss, they'll discharge a strong, musky scent from their anal glands. Very similar to Mike Pence, the day of the insurrection. <laughs> You have to be very careful. And, you know, the uh, former vice poodle has been making the rounds, promoting his new book and wowing the world with his Robin Williams caliber charisma. Mike Pence last night had a town hall event with Jake Tapper on CNN. And when you see him in action, talking with people, interacting with real Americans, suddenly you understand why this guy made it almost all the way to the White House. I want you to meet uh, Andrea Barber Dansby from Anderson, Indiana. Barbara, thank you. I, I represented Madison County in Congress for many years. So. Andrea. It's nice to see you. Well, it happens. Honest mistake. You know, he usually isn't allowed to talk to women, so he got nervous. But I'm sure it won't happen again. I want to bring in our first Hoosier of the night, uh, Daniela Melosi. She's from, Fort, she's from Fort Wayne. Well, Michelle, uh, good to have you here. I think we just found the new spokesperson for Prevagen. It's maybe the reason he calls his wife mother is because he can't remember her name. I don't know. He did correct himself, and then he uh, got on to the hot gossip we expect from the White Shadow. You know, not all of his stories about Donald Trump are negative. Before Trump stood by and enjoyed watching his hench people try to hang him, he offered a very meaningful spot, turned out, to... Uh, Pence being commander of a then imaginary branch of the military. The only committee I ever asked to be on in Congress was the NASA subcommittee. What he didn't know that Karen and I had taken our kids when they were little to vacation at Cape Canaveral just to see the rockets. Um, and I'll never forget just saying to him over the phone, would I lead the Space Council? Would I? <laughs> and we went to work. I I think he might be a robot. I think, I think someone built Donald Trump a robot vice president, and on the morning of January 6th, he lost the remote control. We met and we sat down. And I prayed, I prayed for God's grace to meet that moment and that spirit, and uh, it wasn't easy. And, uh, and to be honest with you, I'm, I'm as human as the next guy. Yep, definitely a robot. He's, uh... <laughs> is the next guy a Ziploc bag filled with Miracle Whip? Because then I'm as human as he is. In the meantime, Mike's former boss is making a run for the Oval Office without him this time. Trump got a visit today from a woman who could be his running mate, failed Arizona governor candidate Carrie Lake, traveled to Mar-a-Lago today. You know, there was a real fear that the MAGA brand candidates who lost would go full Trump and claim all their elections were fixed, but that hasn't been the case. To their credit, Adam Laxalt conceded in Nevada, Dr. Oz and Doug Mastriano conceded in Pennsylvania, and in Arizona, despite the fact that she lost by 17,000 votes with no evidence of any election shenanigans whatsoever, Carrie Lake still isn't giving up. Hey, Arizona, Carrie Lake here. I wanted to reach out to you to let you know that I am still in this fight with you. No, thanks. That's like a... <laughs> That's a very scary message from your wife the morning after an argument. I want to let you know I'm still in a fight with you, okay? <laughs> Just like Trump, Carrie Lake claimed the election was rigged before it even happened. And as a result, her followers have been lashing out 
at officials in Maricopa County, specifically the guy in charge of elections there. His name is Bill Gates. And here's the thing. Not that he did anything wrong, but if you're trying to avoid stirring up these conspiracy crazies, you're not doing yourself any favors going by the name Bill Gates, okay? <laughs> I want to stick with William or something. Bill Gates is a Republican, by the way, which makes this argument especially stupid. But still, the wing nuts are fired up. I don't know if you remember this, but about a year ago, this character showed up at a Board of City Supervisors meeting in San Diego. Do you think that the four feet of marble that holds you above high in this chamber will help you from the fate of humanity, which you are unleashing? No! It won't! Your children and your children's children will be subjugated! They will be asked, how many vaccines have you had? Have you been a good little Nazi? Hail Fauci! Hail Fauci! He's fun, right? He's a fun... Yeah, he's... His name is Matt Baker. Not only is he concerned about vaccines, uh, he hitchhiked all the way to Arizona to support Carrie Lake's claims of voter fraud. Which is more valuable, your vote or your money? Now ask a lobbyist that same question. Now ask a campaign manager that question. Now ask Mark Zuckerberg that question. Which is more valuable, your money or your vote or your country or this world or the corruption that is taking over every single county in this nation? And then you look into your own soul and you look back at yourself in the mirror and realize that you are the cancer that is tearing this nation apart. Good day. Thank you. Our next speaker is Kimberly Burleson. All right, good luck topping that, Kimberly Burleson. The sad thing is that it makes you think differently about white guys with dreadlocks, you know? it's. <laughs> Republicans yesterday officially won enough seats to regain control of the House, which means they're getting right to work, shifting focus from inflation and climate change and a woman's right to choose to what Americans really care about, Hunter Biden's laptop. That is, a group of House Republicans announced today they plan to investigate Hunter and the whole Biden family to determine whether his business activities compromise national security. The highly classified documents down in the Mar-a-Lago rumpus room, no problem, but... <laughs> Hunter's crackhead photo stream. That we need to get to the bottom of right away. They're also talking about investigating Dr. Fauci for what I have no idea. Neither do they, by the way, but they'll come up with something, I'm sure. It's ridiculous. It's childish. You know, we learned today that the outgoing Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, is not going to seek a leadership role in the next session of Congress. She's 82. She said it's time to uh, start an OnlyFans account. And so, that's right. So, the new Speaker of the House will be, uh, come January, will be Trump suck up Kevin McCarthy, a man who always somehow looks like he's in the first half of a Cialis commercial. <laughs> More than 50% of men experience some form of erectile dysfunction. <laughs> Take control of your life. Democrats control the Senate, Republicans have the House, which means we've got an exciting two years of nonstop fighting ahead. But this, I think this is a glimmer of hope. As divided as this country is right now, to me, this is proof that we can come together and we can put our differences aside no matter what transpired in the past. What is this? I got you your ear. No, it's not. This ain't my ear. Yes, it is. Cherry pie punch feeling. My ears don't taste like cherry pie. Yes, they do. My ears don't. Yes, they do. Man, they don't. Yes, they do. No, I don't. Yes, they do. Why I ate your ear, I should know. Well, you're right. Well, I think I know what I'm getting you for Christmas, Guillermo. Oh, that's good. I like that. If you told me... 25 years ago, you told me not only would marijuana be legal, Mike Tyson and Evandra Holyfield were going to start a commercial together selling it. And I said, what are you eating? Evander's gummy ears? You must be out of here. You know, the holidays uh, are approaching, and Mariah Carey is looming in the distance. You know that all I want for Christmas song you're going to hear every... Where every time for the, every four minutes for the next five weeks. Well, apparently Mariah, as a result of the enormous popularity of this song, tried to trademark the name Queen of Christmas. Mariah Carey, Queen of Christmas. She filed paperwork to own that, was denied. According to the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office, 
Another artist is already known as the Queen of Christmas, a woman named Elizabeth Chan. She fought against Mariah Carey. She says, uh, quote, Christmas isn't about one single person. And so, well, don't tell that to Jesus. But so then she, <laughs> she well, what a ballsy move for Mariah. I mean, the first line of the song is, I don't want a lot for Christmas. Now she wants to be queen? <laughs> Seems like a lot. I didn't even know you could name yourself queen or of something, but when I read it, I decided, oh, thank you. I want to come up with a name for myself. I've always wanted to be king of something. So we did some research just to see what was available. The following titles are already spoken for. They're trademarked. I can't be king of uh, pop, uh, king of the jungle, king of queens, kings of Leon, king Kong, king of the hill, the sausage king of Chicago, king of the world, king's Hawaiian, king of the road, king of New York, the lion king, king of the mountain, King of Swing, King of the Ring, King of All Media, Burger King, King Midas, King of Rock and Roll, or Pat's King of Steaks. None of those are available, but I did find one that is not only available, it's a good, it's a really good one. And so by the power vested in me by the US Patent and Trademark Office, I hereby declare that from henceforth, I shall be known as, thank you, and bring me my crown. The king of those little plastic things on top of pizzas that look like a tiny table. Thank you, Guillermo. All hail the king of those little plastic things on top of pizza that look like a tiny table. Lord, may he reign. Thank you, my lord. And here before, the cheese on your pizza. We'll never stick to the box top again. <laughs> what are you doing back there? All right, all right. One more thing before the king declares that it is Thursday night, which means it's time to bleep and blur the big moments of the week, whether they need it or not. It is this week in unnecessary censorship. <laughs> coming up in this hour, Chance the Rapper has got a big <laughs> you'll see only on CBS Mornings. They're our <laughs> they're not their <laughs> These are our <laughs> And we are coming. You've also made a career out of, I guess, a <laughs> Matt Damon, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God, yeah. She, Biden, they met, they <laughs> for three hours. And now I've had a smaller, <laughs> larger, <laughs> wide. <laughs> Excuse me, I have a little. If you do, if you do a leg for 100 a piece. 100 a piece? Yes. What about 160? What about <laughs> my? We'll call it good. Yes. Yes. I really want to do it. Yeah. All right. When my lead agent, Tim Gables, came in and said, Sir, we got to get you out of the building now, I stuck my finger in his <laughs> and said, You're not <laughs> me. I'm not leaving. Finally, somebody's <laughs> my. <laughs> okay, you heard the man. <laughs> it. 